more with feeling. There we go. Steam was still downloading stuff, so I had to I had to pause those before <laughs> trying to get a good stable stream up time. Anyway, uh, hi everybody. Welcome to this uh, this evening's sort of surprise stream. I'm uh I'm thinking. Okay, okay, hold on. This one is a... It, look, it looks like it's sticking now, which is what I want, so... Let me just... Play with my windows for a second. And should be good to go. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, New Vegas for today. So, so we haven't done it in a while, and it was actually getting uh, pretty heavily requested while we were doing other things over the weekend. So I figure there's nothing wrong with doing a bit of a long play this Monday night. Now, of course, this means that I have not done uh, what I said I'd do earlier, which was namely uh, doing three Marys again off camera. So we're going to reload the Narrows at the, at the beginning of the whole final quest, and... Go ahead and talk to Daniel. I'm glad to see you're still with us. I checked on everything in the valley and got you the map of Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly... Don't worry, I... No going back. Whether you decide the Sorrows should fight or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. You will be unable to finish any remaining quests in Zion once you make your decision, so choose wisely. Now, for all the same, all the same reasons that we had on the first attempt, we're going to go with fighting the White Legs. I think Joshua was right. We should fight the White Legs. No. Why? Poor Josh. The sorrows can't be. It looks like we're good. This is the way the world is. They're part of it, whether you like it or not. No. Waking Cloud has returned to the Sorrows camp. All right. So as we did last time, I'm going to take Barter to 70 and take Sneak up to 71, and I'm going to drop a point in Unarmed. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the one you are up show no quarter. Let's do it. Go. All right, so we're gonna do this one again. All 
Um, stream looks good now on my end. I know that we did have problems, but uh, OBS at least is showing me a, a nice solid uplink. Hold on, let me look at... And Twitch says the health is excellent too, so... If you guys are having trouble seeing, it's probably just uh, fuckery from YouTube again, which seems to happen a lot. I don't really understand. Anyway, let's do this. Just like last time. And I can practically just let Joshua handle everything in this first part. Now I think it's going to be smarter just to only pick up things I actually want the entire, the entire trip through, so that's what I'm going to focus on doing. Take ammo, and food, and crafting items, and that's going to be about it. All right, onward we go. <laughs> Nyron says, please kill Follows Chalk. <laughs> well, hey man, I, uh, I appreciate you popping in to say hello. Uh, I probably won't kill Follows Chalk, considering that the game's going to end before I have a chance to anyway, but... Have a nice night, man. Good luck with school in the morning. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning, too, according to the standard schedule. That's not going away or anything, so... Yeah, so just, uh... Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope YouTube's working right, because... You know, I can't really trust its report on stream health. It's telling me it's good. Um, Twitch and OBS are both also telling me stream health is good. So if you're having trouble watching on YouTube, you can come over to Twitch. I find it's much more reliable anyway. And if YouTube is working fine, I'd appreciate a... A little note of confirmation in the chat if somebody could do that. Die where you stand. Shoot, yeah, I don't have to have. I really don't have to do anything myself as l during the whole stretch where Joshua was with me, do I? This is great. Die where you Hey, Fragile, how you doing? Uh, explosives I will take. That sounds fun. It is working well. Okay, good. That's all I need to know. Joshua, what you doing, man? So, um, if I'm if it seems like I'm not talking about the game much, it's because we already did this part once. But I, I got to the end, and Joshua was hostile, and I realized it's because I had killed some friendly tribals. And I checked the wiki, and you know, even 
even if you do it the way there are normally no bad repercussions, like you do it when you're hidden, he, he won't turn hostile on the spot, which is what really makes it strange. But if you... Um, what am I even trying to say? But then when you get to the end, if you killed any friendly tribals, Joshua will be hostile, and it will ruin the, uh, it'll ruin the quest and make it uncompletable. So this time, we're not going to kill any of the friendly tribals. And... Of course, last time, we were fortunate enough to get an anti-material rifle from one of the generic white leg mooks. I'll be pretty surprised if we're that lucky again, but I guess you never know. Oh, I must have picked a bad time. <laughs> I, 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 Europe's in bed. They're the ones who normally watch my early morning action. Uh. Joshua? Where you at, buddy? All that talk about how Joshua was all I need, and then he fails to follow me. Hey, St. Louis, how you doing? What surprised you? Just the game choice? After Honest Hearts, um, we're going to do a little bit of questing and exploring back in the main game in the Mojave. We're going to do... Um, definitely going to at least do... Uh, finish Come Fly With Me and we'll do uh, That Lucky Old Son. You know, at, uh, at Helios 1. And then from there... And I think I'll, I'll probably explore all the way up to... Uh, riot shotgun. I'll probably explore all the way up to uh, Freeside and then uh, then I'm going to do Old World Blues to answer the question of the itinerary. Oh, the stream? No, uh, St. Louis, sorry about that. I found myself with some t unexpected free time this evening, so I, I announced it in the Discord an hour beforehand, but I think a lot of people didn't get the message, so... There aren't very many of you here, but that's all right. That can change. I'm going to go for, uh, probably going to go for a good three hours tonight, so. Hopefully pick up some viewers. Got four on YouTube and two on Twitch. All right. Come on. Come on, Twitch, get me, get up to three. My average went from zero to two over the weekend, which is good, you know. It's exactly what I want is to, I just need to get the average up to three so that, so that I can get affiliated. But the, uh... And as long as I stay at two, at least my average won't drop, so that's good. I wonder what the hell happened to Joshua. Um, 
hi Infinimora. There's a I don't have one programmed into the chat, but uh, just if you look down at the down at the stickies, there's a there's a link to the Discord, just like on the channel front page. I really want to know where the hell Joshua is. This is not good. Yes, you will notice, more or less as expected, we did not get the random anti-mat rifle this time. Which is a damn shame, but is to be expected, I suppose. What I realized about this uh, run through to Three Marys, which is actually pretty great, is it's a fixed number of white legs. It doesn't have the ridiculous infinite spawn rate going that, uh, <laughs> you know, your ordinary time here in Zion has you deal with. Hey, awesome, St. Louis. So I guess you'll be sticking around for the whole stream then. And by the way, if anybody is confused, because it seems like I'm responding to chat messages you can't see, I'm using a multi-streamer, Restream.io, which uh, lets me stream to both YouTube Gaming and Twitch at the same time. So I have both chats open, so if I'm responding to a message that you didn't see, it's probably just from the other platform. Should have remembered basic pattern recognition. I gotta go. I gotta go behind the guy on the far end first. Oh hey, and there's the notification that you have joined the Discord server. Thanks and welcome, Infinimora. I appreciate you being here tonight. Where the hell is Joshua when I need him? I guess it's just karma. I got I got to talk at all that smack about how Joshua was just murdering everything for me. And so he got stuck somewhere, naturally. Anyway. anyway, we're just about done with our run-up now. We're going to get to Three Marys momentarily. Uh, hey, Hentai Hero. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah, sorry I um, didn't do as good a job as I should have getting the word out about the stream tonight. 
I still apparently don't quite know how to operate Discord to make sure it actually pushes notifications to you, but Nyren set me straight, so that shouldn't be an issue in the future. The sneaky bastard in the ridiculous spacesuit got the drop on us again. Yes, yes he did. And this time, he finally boosted his sneak skill above 70, so it's working a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Alright, we should get three Marys on our map any second, if it's not already there. Alright, here are the friendly tribals that we're not going to murder this time, because that's what created the glitch. Trying to uh if I toasters are actually good for something, so I'm gonna grab that and take it with me. <laughs> I remember um you know, from our first attempt, being really surprised at how few enemies I actually had dealt with sneaking through Three Marys, but... I'll leave the tin can, because that's just vendor trash at this point. The Piranha movies weren't bad if you knew what you were getting into. They were they were much better than not bad, my friend. The Piranha movies were awesome. Oh look, they're actually like helping me out. That's better than I expected. Well, maybe I don't have Joshua, but these guys are certainly better than nothing. I think our friend is very long for this world. It's alright though. Excellent. St. Louis, you have a taste for cheesy sci-fi flicks? Oh, me too, man. I freaking love a good, and by good I mean, like, horribly cheesy, but in the best possible way, B-monster movie. Um, my favorite that I've seen recently, it was on a, I think it's probably still available on Netflix, one called a Big Ass Spider. <laughs> I mean, the title says everything you need to know about what you're getting into. That movie is sublime.
Joshua Graham has left your company. You've lost the way of the Canaanite perk. Yep, that's where Joshua gets mad and bails. So everything should be fine. I didn't kill any didn't kill any good guys this time. We didn't get his dialogue though. I have to admit that concerns me a little. We all know how buggy New Vegas is, but we'll keep marching forward. Don't miss this little bit of loot over here. We got Wonder Glue. Just taking things that are not vendor trash. Go into crafting recipes and whatnot. And we will head on up to the Three Mary's Cavern. <laughs> you love big ass spider? <laughs> despite your uh despite your fear of spiders, well, I mean the titular big ass spider doesn't look much like any real spiders you might encounter, so it makes it pretty safe viewing, even for even for an arachnophobe, I'd say. Have I managed to pull off the pros only GRA challenge? No, I haven't. third one after me too. That went pretty well. If I do say so myself. Oh, have I have I heard of Mystery Science Three Theater Three Thousand? I love Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand. That show is awesome. All right, forward through the cavern. I'm actually kind of glad we got a second shot at this because this is going much better than our first attempt did. I have to say, even if Joshua pieced out halfway through our trek. And there's a little bit of loot up here, if I remember correctly. Easy locked crate. Let's get it. I guess I could really stop <laughs> saves coming for lock picking. I'm at what I have 130 bobby pins. I think I can probably afford to break a few at this point. <laughs> No other TV show comes close to Mystery Science Theater 3000, in your opinion. Just took down a female storm drummer. In insert sex joke here. <laughs> well, I mean, I took her down with a power fist. So, you can even theme your, you can even theme your sex joke pretty easy, I, th I think. Kill him, disarm the trap. And let's exp 
explore, make sure we've picked up everything we'd like. Caution? Where? I don't see a red mark anywhere. What is this? Something automated, no doubt. Like I thought, that's where they collapsed the canyon, so now we can turn around and head toward the, uh, the endgame. Uh, hey, Tim. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, sorry I, uh, sorry the, sorry the stream's unexpected. I, uh, I messaged, I put a message up in the Discord an hour in advance, but, uh, as Nyron has informed me, if I actually want push notifications to go to everybody, I need to do the at everyone tag, so I have that straightened now. So in the future, Discord messages should get out the way they're supposed to. But for today, people seem to be, uh, trickling in okay and figuring out figuring out that we're up and running so does anyone else like the Ryan Reynolds Deadpool movies oh you know only if you're only if you're a man of culture but, uh, I mean I haven't s well is it even out yet if it is, I'm not paying attention. I'm way behind the times. But I didn't. I didn't think Deadpool 2 was out yet. But I loved the first Deadpool. I thought Ryan Reynolds was perfect for it, and the movie was awesome. Okay, so this little side path up here has some more loot. I believe some more. Uh, Locked goodies for us to pick open, too, which means more experience points, which is really what Honest Hearts is all about. There are three big things you get from Honest Hearts. You get Salt Upon Wounds' Power Fist. You get Joshua Graham's armor, which, as I've mentioned before, is easily the best light armor in the game. I'm going to put that shotgun back. Oh, never mind. And... Maybe most important of all, you just get a freaking boatload of experience points. Don't miss the grenade bouquet here in the trees. It's tied to this pressure plate over here that we can't actually disarm. You didn't like how the movie goes out of its way to tell you it's rated R so many times? Well, I mean, I I understand why they did that, though. It's because you know, parents tend to bring their small children to superhero movies thinking everything is going to be fine. And that is not the case if you're watching Deadpool. <laughs> Well, we just fisted another female storm drummer to death. Nicholas is a fan of that. <laughs> Deadpool 2 is out. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I know the next thing I'm going to go see then. I saw Infinity War and frankly found it a little bit underwhelming. Like, it was... 
It was good. It was just, it was way too big. It hardly felt like I was watching a movie. Felt like just two and a half hours of various cameos. Because <laughs> nobody, no individual got <laughs> a respectable amount of screen time. But that being said, I'm very excited for Deadpool 2. So that's next on my list. Alright, again, this time we will refrain from murdering the friendlies. Hopefully that'll... Hopefully that will mean we're still buddies with Joshua when we get to the end. You hope Deadpool does a TSA on why you don't bring your kids to a Deadpool movie. <laughs> um, I mean, the first one basically did that every time it reminded you how R-rated it was and what a problem that was. Whoops. I don't need the tin cans. That's... That's a waste. We'll take the empty bottles. I can't remember. Is, uh... Is up here the way forward, or is this just goodies? So I thought this was just goodies, and the way forward was down at the water, but... It's starting to feel like I might be wrong about that. No, this is just goodies. All right, good. Well, the other, I mean, with, you know, warning people that Deadpool movies are not kid-friendly over and over again, I mean, it can be funny, and I'm sure that if they do it, they'll write it to be funny, but unfortunately, there are also you know, very practical reasons to do that, like, butthurt parents go absolutely bonkers, <laughs> even if it's completely their fault that they didn't pay attention and took their kids to an R-rated movie, you know? So I think there's a re very real element of CYA to them doing that as well. Is Venom going to be rated R? I don't think so. I think Venom is... I think Venom is still going to be PG-13, but... I don't know. I don't know that for sure. Somebody with more information should say so. Should say so. Yeah, that's true. Logan was rated R. and Oh, by the way, Logan was for my money, by far the best movie in the entire X-Men franchise. Like, it was unbelievably good. Tim, you're a little bit drunk. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Especially on a Monday, my man. That's respectable. No, come on. Do you do you know me, Tim? You've been you've been following my channel for a long time. You should know damn well by now that around here you never have to apologize for any level of drunkenness. <laughs> you don't know whether to call uh, sneak attacks with the power fist, donkey punching, or pure fisting. Uh, well, you I, I can tell you the one I like better, so you've made up my mind for me by reminding me of the term donkey punch. That's what we're going with. You can say they're assuming the position. 
All right, we're getting close now. I think we got we have one or two groups of white legs left to deal with, and then. I'm running out of carry weight even not picking up any vendor trash. That's that's crazy. Oh fuck. Yeah, let's not have that happen. Holy shit. Hey hey! There we go. There's the new Vegas we know and love. Logan feels more like a western than a superhero movie, and that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a... Uh... Fuck. I hadn't quite thought of it that way, but I think that's a pretty accurate statement. Jesus Christ. Phew, we managed to back away from that frag grenade, at least. I mean, I've definitely, um, I've definitely done a falcon punch for, uh, power fist sneak kills before, which, you know, it's fun, but it, it certainly lacks that sexual innuendo that really ups the ante in terms of fun factor. That might be it. Nope, nope, we got one more. Now one more. There's one more campsite up there and one more group of white legs to deal with. Yeah, I'm remembering now. Well, that wasn't what I wanted you to do, but I'll take it. Nothing wrong with a little drink of water. So I can see him up there. I wonder if I can actually make it all the way up there and donkey punch him without being detected. I feel like I probably can. So I mentioned in... I mentioned this in the last video, but, uh, 70 in the sneak skill, you know, it was true in Fallout 3, and it's true in this game, too. It's really, like, a important threshold for actually being able to successfully sneak. Oh. We had more buddies show up. They handled shit for us. That's fantastic. This is not gonna go well. Let's find a slightly more gradual descent path. There we go. That did it. Do 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 do. Okay. Everything's linked up. We're not missing anything. And we're at our carry weight limit, and I have not picked up anything I want to get rid of, so at 
this point, I'm only gonna... At this point, I guess we're just skipping everything. And I'll only drop something if I see a real need to trade out for something better. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't want that. That's... That, that, that gets a reload. I'm gonna try and get these guys with a pot shot if I can. Get the most dangerous one, anyway. If Venom doesn't have at least the same amount of gore as Logan, you'll be disappointed. Uh, hi, Peter. I am going to play tomorrow as well, but um, right now I'm in the middle of the stuff I said I was going to do off screen because I wound up with some time this evening. And I did, uh, I don't know if you're, if you're on the server or not, I did post in the Discord an hour in advance that this had happened and I was going to be doing an episode tonight. But I think uh, I'm still not quite up to speed on proper Discord use. Nyren fixed me, so it won't be an issue in the future. But I forgot to use... I keep forgetting to use the at everyone tag, so it doesn't give you guys a push notification. So you'll only notice if you're actually in the Discord when I make the post. Oh. Okay, well, I don't want that either. I'll tell you what I do want is to lure you guys back to where all my friends are, let you make their acquaintance. Okay, now that's everything. There we go. Now we got some assistance. You can me. Bam! Now, if I remember right, that is the last little group of ordinary mooks before we get to the ending. Uh, Peter, it is a 5 till 8 p.m. here, and um, I'm planning to stream for about two more hours. Yep, there we go. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. All right, it worked. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on Earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva o. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kuna man mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. <laughs> so, this isn't what I signed up for. Let me talk to Joshua about this. So we can try to talk Joshua out of killing him. That's not good. You're right, we're going to kill you, but not like this. Defend yourself. I like it, um... Yeah, you wanna, you wanna beat him in a fair fight. You can no ni kumpa me! They are you! I got them!
Ooh, boy, that didn't go well. Okay, hold on. Let me let me make an anchor save here, because <laughs> I am I am pleased that we fixed the glitch. But I uh, I need to have a better strategy for that for sure. All right, in we go. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You Come on, Joshua, speed up. Canaan to drive us out, and like the dogs of Caesar, you are. You followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva o. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kunaman mad. He killed. Alright. Main thing I had to do was just... Let Joshua pull aggro on the, uh... At least, initial phases of the fight. No, I, you're not going to yank me out of vats with one swipe. I hate that. And I will not allow it. Stop it. There we go. There we go. It's the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. But I suppose this was for the sake of the dead. Oh, horses. daughter of Babylon, crushed the white Still, legs. Thanks to your help and the grace of God, the white legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough, and there is much to do. All right, so we've hit level 26. Let me sort out what I want to do there. Alright, we're going to take Science to 80. We're going to take Survival to 70. Medicine to 66. And we're finally going to get one of my very favorite perks, Tunnel Runner. The Warrens of the Divide have taught you to keep your head down. Your movement speed is greatly increased while sneaking in light armor. So now we can stealth run as fast as we can run normally, which is pretty fucking awesome. And here comes and our ending. Was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs' diminished numbers reached the 80s tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. The Sorrow's transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Sion, but it was a small comfort. 
the sorrow's innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the white legs from Zion, the dead horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, <coughs> initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The <laughs> tribes united <laughs> against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands with his own eyes and ears. After returning to Dead Horse Point, he quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. One morning, they awoke to discover that Follows Chuck had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys, Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses in tending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least appeased. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. There we go. So we get a footlocker that I believe has all of our in-game gear in it. Yes, so a light shining in darkness. I believe that is uh, it's Joshua Graham's forty-five pistol. Chalk's headdress. DT1 melee weapons plus five. Daniel's hat, speech plus five, perception plus one. Daniel's outfit, medicine and barter. Joshua Graham's armor. This is the best light armor that exists in across the game and all of its DLC. I'll be wearing this the rest of the game, except when I have to go for rad resistance. But you'll notice the DT is 15, which is well above the 10 on the spacesuit. But you'll also notice that unbelievably awesome critical chance plus three the whole time we're wearing it. Scripture, that's Joshua's scriptures, I believe. Salt upon wounds his helmet. That's a, a DT of four with a plus two critical chance and a five boost to sneak. So even though it saps away one DT, I am going to make this switch off of the combat helmet because that two critical chance is too good to pass up. And of course, salt upon wounds his power fist. It does uh, 50 raw damage, which is not quite as much as our ordinary power fist, but then it's got that bleed effect. It does an extra 30 points of damage over time on every hit, which is awesome. 
All right, now I've got to lose 45 pounds of stuff. I'm gonna... Well, anti-venom doesn't weigh anything. I'm gonna just try and do it with, you know, the, the food and whatnot that we picked up on our way through. I'll come back for... I'll come back for it later. Well, maybe. That may not be necessary. Alright, so, we are at the Northern Passage Cave, so, we're now, we're now able to leave Zion, but before we do that, we want to get everything that we're trying to take with us, so actually, now that I think about it, let me drop everything in here for now. Yeah, we're going to use Salt Upon Wounds' as Power Fist. And Joshua Graham's armor. So let me drop everything else in here. Um, Sorry about this. This is gonna, this is gonna take a little bit because the next fun little task is porting everything from the expansion back out to the Mojave with us. Oh, hold on. Now let's put on our new gear. Salt upon wounds his power fist, his helmet, and Joshua Graham's armor. Looking awesome, right? And let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the Angel Cave. Really, and maybe I'll do I'll do the majority of the porting off screen because uh, on my own time because you guys don't want to watch me do that in a stream. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is, this is the sack of stuff I wanted to keep. And I'm just going to grab the unique stuff for now, so I can pour all of that out. So we want, we got the, uh, the compliance regulator. We're going to take She's Embrace. And we're going to take the survivalist's rifle. So those are all unique. I'm going to take, oh, there's no apparel in there anyway. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good for now, so let's head back to the northern passage or the southern passage for the moment. Let's get all the unique goodies out of our footlocker here. So that's a light shining in darkness. Our modded power fist. All that. And let's just take that for now. Quest completed. Departing Paradise. So we can journey back to Zion. There's obviously nothing to do there except port stuff back and forth, which, as I mentioned, I'm going to do off screen. I am not going to make you guys watch that on stream because with all the stuff from inside that expansion, that alone is probably going to be two hours of time. So, instead, let's just run back to our hotel room in Novak. What does everyone think of the new God of War? I have not played it yet, and I have not made it to Vegas yet, no. 
I kind of save actually going to the Vegas Strip for the very, very last thing in the game after I do everything else. Because, I mean, it. number one, it just sort of feels like a culmination. And number two, it's a... Uh, It's where the quests start to conflict with each other, so everything I'm not actually going to use, I'm going to drop in here. Uh, I'm going to sell my modded power fist. That's why I'm holding on to it. Uh, the spacesuit I'm going to keep with me, just so I can swap it in when I need rad resistance. And that should actually be everything. So let me let me restock on um, ammunition. I need 8556 bullets. I need 29 308 rounds. I need I like to carry four purified waters and two rubies casseroles at all times. Because I am playing on hardcore mode, if that wasn't clear. Finally, just a few other. All right, let's head to Prim and pick up Eddie. Companion protocol begin. You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? Uh, yes, PD, I am still going to play tomorrow. Let's see. I have some questions about Eddie. That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? Where did it come from? Courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Any idea what I should do with it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. All right. I'd like to ask you about something else. Let's uh, let's trade. Things are pretty good with my. Thirty-four, twenty-four. Okay, that's way too much. Let's head to uh, the Mojave Outpost. Unfortunately, Joshua Graham has vanished from the game, and we don't really want to go back to Zion to get our stuff repaired anyway. But I want to, I want to repair all this new gear up to full. So. This gal usually we has won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. something like 8,000 caps, so that she, sh she should be able to buy our old power fist. Lacey. Background? Yeah, perfect. Now let's go visit... Oh, it's been a while since I've been here, I can't remember their names. Major was his bucket over in this building with the 100 repair skill. Major Knight. And doing a lot of good work out. Yeah, no, I need I just need him to repair all with this. So there we go. And now we are ready to get back to our adventuring. So let's fast travel back to Novak. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is head north to Gibson Scrapyard, where a few things are going to happen. We're going to. Uh, um, I was about to say, there's literally never any reason not to sneak anymore now that I have Tunnel Runner. Hey, Karis, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you missed the ending of Honest Hearts. You can see I've got 
Salt Upon Wounds' Power Fist and uh, Helmet, and I've got Joshua Graham's armor on. And we're back in the Mojave. Let's head to Gibson Scrapyard, which is where we can finish the Come Fly With Me quest we left behind. And, uh... Should also be able to, um... Advance the Eddie companion quest line along a little bit as well. Oh, Gibson Scrapyard! Basura, for those who don't know, is Spanish for garbage. She named her dogs, she named one of her dogs Garbage. She's obviously a very nice lady. Feel, I'm not certain about, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably another language's word for trash. Colmillo. Now, I don't actually know what colmillo means. The only reason the word is familiar to me is because it's what's there, um... It's the official name for the uh, Plaga dogs in Resident Evil 4, the Colmillos. So I'm fairly certain it's Spanish. I don't know what it means. If anyone does, please uh, let me know. Yeah, we'll get a... Don't worry, I know, I know we worked hard to gather all that stuff in Zion. I just don't want to make you guys watch me port it back and forth on the stream. We've got two hours, I'd rather do something. <laughs> so let's look around the scrapyard. Out as. I don't know what that means either. File means faithful. I, I did not console Joshua into being friendly. I redid the whole thing. I just, I had to, ref I was right. I just had to refrain from uh, killing any of the friendlies and everything worked fine. And then, um, you know, when I got to, uh, when we got to Salt Upon Wounds, I, I made Joshua let him die in a fair fight. And so that's the, the endings we got. Alright, the yard itself is... Oh, I was going to say the yard itself is clear, but... That isn't quite true, is it? And we're dehydrated. All that fast traveling will do it pretty quick. No matter, pop a couple of waters, everything's fine. Very easy locked box here. There's another one. Alright, let's head inside now. We can go to Gibson Garage. Both entrances seem to lead there, so... And, uh, Old Lady Goodson actually has a, uh... What am I killing doggies for? Uh oh, we're suddenly getting lag. Uh, I think that's on. I think that's on YouTube's end because OBS says it's fine and Twitch says it's fine. And YouTube also says it's fine, but I know how unreliable that is. Why am I killing the doggies? Um, because I'm gonna be stealing shit. <laughs> And I don't want to... Uh... The 
Big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. He's red. Oh, just kidding. We can't kill Ray. Ray, f Ray factors into a quest later on. Uh, I knew there. Were, I, I vaguely remembered there was one I needed to spare, and it's it's Ray. All right. All right. We want to pickpocket old lady Gibson. We want to take her twelve gauge rounds, which is not uh not that easy to do. But um. I'm engineering this so that I can get her unique shotgun, Big Boomer, without having to murder her. The way to do that is to pickpocket the ammo, if the game ever lets me do it. Uh, this run, uh, the song reminds me my, uh, there we go, my favorite bar did a, uh, I sing karaoke there on Fridays pretty regularly, and uh, one time they did a Fallout theme night where, you know, there was a costume contest, and if you sang a song off of the Fallout soundtrack, you got a free shot, so uh, this, is, this is the song I did. Big Iron by the one and only Marty Robbins. Pick that lock. There are the thrust control modules that we need for the uh, Come Fly With Me quest. Completed. Find parts to fix the rocket's thrust controllers. Return to the rocket facility and give the parts to Chris Haversom. Let's get the rest of this shit. Got a couple more shelves to search. We got a star bottle cap. We are still collecting those. All right, now we just need to, uh, I do want this baseball bat. Now, in order to get, a uh, oh, no, come on. I just want the handbrake. Okay, now we just need to exit and pop back in. And because we took the shotgun ammunition, when she re when she respawns, she's going to equip. If it works right, she's going to equip her melee weapon, which will put Big Boomer in her pickpocket inventory, allowing us to take it without murdering her. Come on. I mean, it's a, it's a unique shotgun, so it's probably going to be difficult to pickpocket, but it's all right. We need her alive for various quests, so there we go. We got it. Oh, if Liberty Prime has a song. Oh, you don't need to spare Ray. You can take the brain with you right then. I guess that's true, but all right. With all that done, let's uh, go ahead and chat with old lady Gibson. Hey. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Speaking of freedom, have I played Broforce? No. <laughs> I've seen I've seen Broforce and it looks difficult and fun, but uh, show me what you have for sale. Happy to do it. Mostly just interested in selling anything I can get away with selling to her.
Pleasure doing business with you. How's her repair skill? 65. It's not atrocious, but... Uh, what do you know about Helios 1? The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Why do they call you Old Lady Gibson? Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. All right, goodbye. Take care now. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Log playback continue. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. Continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Interesting. Now with that, we are ready to head back to the Repcon test site. In order to complete... Oh! Eat this. Oh boy, the ghouls have all respawned. Should have figured that was going to be a thing. I wondered why my, uh, I lost the ability to cross, but I got radiation sickness, so I lost a point of endurance, so my unarmed skill dropped by two. This should get my cross back. Yes. Oh, come on. There we go. Everybody settle down. Also, wow, these things are easy, weak shit. <laughs> After all the crap we had to deal with in Zion. Well, I hope... I hope it has not also respawned the stuff inside. That would make me unhappy. Oh wait, I forgot about the shortcut. Let's just go take the shortcut. Out here to the left. Well, I guess it's on my right now. It's on your left when you fast travel here. Oh, Tunnel Runner is so good! That's right, you go, buddy. Everybody dance now! Yep, yep, yep. Here's Chris. Have you found the components we discussed? I found the thrust control modules. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. The rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. 
Talk to Chris Haverson to begin preparations for the rocket launch. The rockets are ready, Jason. A great journey can begin. Good luck, I guess. Not now. It is almost time for the great journey. Okay. Bye. So we need to, what did it say to do? Go back up to the top floor. Yeah, head up to the viewing platform and complete the launch sequence. Gather all. May the creator guide my words and help me speak true. The almighty creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. Mm -hmm. to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. Alrighty. All the way up, all the way through all this nonsense. You'll remember there was a door up here that we could not uh, get through before. That's the viewing platform. It's finally open to us now. Right here. Here's where we can make it happen. Take that cigarette. That's the launch button, but let's look at the navigation console first. The console displays a wealth of information concerning the predicted trajectory of the rockets. What do you wish to do? Examine the navigation data further, set the rockets to crash into one another, leave the console alone, so we can turn on them at the very end like a major, major douchebag. Let's examine the navigation data further. Examining the trajectories a little further, it looks like the computer is set to take a non-optimal route to the specified destination. You surmise that with minor alterations, you can plot a course that will take them about 12.5% closer to their intended destination. Do you wish to alter the rocket's course? Make the change. That's a 55 science check, which should get us a little experience. You modify the path of the rockets to land closer to their target. And now, we can hit the launch button. Bum, 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 ba -da bum. We are idolized in Novak. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. There's Come Fly With Me. Done and done. Novak fame gained. Hooray. So one thing... Let me make sure I have a programmer's digest. I for almost forgot about this, but there is a... We left a very hard terminal. Oh, fast travel's unavailable. Fine. I left a very hard computer terminal in Camp Searchlight, and uh, with my science skill at 80, I can now use a programmer's digest and hack it. We are finally done in this joint, too. Which is great news. All 
Alright, that's about 90 minutes in. Well, it's it's 8.40 here, and I can go to I can go till 10, so we're probably going to be able to do a healthy chunk of, a healthy chunk of, if not all of, Helios 1. Alright, now let's head to Camp Searchlight. Let's put our spacesuit on, since we're dealing with radiation. Likewise, let's pop a rad or a rad X between those two things. We'll have our rad resistance maxed out. I don't know if this area respawns or not, but looks like the answer to that is yes. something down here anyway. Yep, another ghoul. I think I remember which computer terminal it was. I think it's the one over here. Nope. We hacked that one already. In that case, it's going to be one further back. Damn it, where is it? <laughs> I went the wrong way at the very beginning, apparently. I'll never fear, we shall find it. I don't want to pass it up because a you know very hard hack is excellent experience. I don't know where that other ghoul went, either. This might be it. Come on, be good to me. Yes, there it is, thank you. Alright, let's use the Programmer's Digest. And let's do this hack. Um, oh, copyright strikes for Flight of the Valkyries? Yeah, that doesn't actually surprise me. Alright, let's try Purification. 5 out of 12. Purification. Well, it's not that. Or Purification. That's too many. Purification. Purification. Nope. Nope. Asian conversation works. And that's the one. Glorious. With that, let's fast travel back to Novak. Let's put our Joshua Graham armor back on. Let's offload some stuff while we're here. Hey, you came back? 
Welcome back. Sure thing. Have a look. Take that. Take that. Take that. No, just kidding. You can't take that. What am I thinking? You take that. You take that. You can have that. You can have those. You can have those. You can have those. You can have that. And that's it. Let's drop stuff off, and then let's head to Helios 1. I will... I bet you that in the span of 75 minutes, we can probably do uh, that lucky old son as well. Which would make this a bounty of progress in this video. We'll put Big Boomer away. Play all these extra aid items actually grab out another purified water. Perfect. All right. Refresh our well-rested bonus. Have a peek at our other needs. And we're close on them. Yeah, I don't want to drink out of that sink. It's filthy. It's filthy. Let's head, head back to Gibson Scrapyard now. And let's roll on up to Helios 1. Uh, will I do a Final Fantasy walkthrough? Um, we'll be more specific. <laughs> uh, depends which Final Fantasy game. Like, I like some of the older ones and I would consider doing them. I haven't played most of the newest ones. And so... Alright, we have discovered Helios 1. Hi, Rogue! Uh, nice to see you. Always nice to see a long-term time fan uh, make it into a stream. I appreciate you being here, man. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, um, please consider uh, joining the Discord server. The link is in the... Um, video description and the about section. It all, uh... I mostly just use it to announce in advance when I'm going live. And this is a restricted area. State your business. And, um... I'm also going... To, and, um... Uh, I'd also... I don't know if you, uh... I don't know how your viewing experience is going, but I multi-stream onto Twitch. I know YouTube is less stable, and a lot of times when I'm, uh, a lot of times when I'm hearing about issues on YouTube, Twitch is working fine, so if you find YouTube giving, your isu giving you issues, you can, uh, pop over and watch there instead. Tends to be a much more, uh, stable experience. All right. So, NCR rep. I'm with the NCR. Anything I can do to help? I saw this place in the distance and wanted to investigate. I was hungry and was hoping this was some kind of food factory. Attack. I'm taking over. I saw this place in the distance and wanted to investigate. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. Science. I notice your solar tower isn't collecting much sunlight. I can help. Speech 30, lie. I heard my brother was stationed here. I want to know he's okay. That's the one I'm going to do because it's the one that gets me experience. I wish I could tell you, but we've had so many replacements lately I couldn't be sure. Go in and look around if you want. Try not to make any trouble. 
There we go. Why are you here and not on the front lines? Isn't that more important? I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell, if we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. Shouldn't there be more people than this defending a power plant? There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Why was the Brotherhood of Steel here? Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1 maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <sighs> Jerk-offs. All right. Goodbye. Later. A generic troopers still get murdered. <laughs> At this point, though... I have so little remaining use for caps. I think I'm gonna alter my strategy for uh, loot collection. Just take the things I really think are gonna be useful. Oh, come on. Like ammo. Dog tags and skill magazines. These are good things. Alright, let's do a quick perimeter run before we actually head inside. Alright, we got we got hostiles out here, so let's be careful. Not even sure what they are. Rad Scorpion. Now, I want to collect the poison glands, because remember, our gal Ruby can turn those into casseroles, which are still an excellent food source for hardcore mode. I was, say, I was pretty sure I bagged four of them. If I don't, if I don't find the fourth, there he is. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Let's head back here and keep perimeter checking. Yeah, I've been mulling over the idea of being a little less obsessive about grabbing everything it's possible to sell for a while now. The reason is, you know, in the last few uh, Honest Heart streams in particular, people kept asking me what I'm planning to do with more caps, since I already bought all the implants, I already bought all the weapon mods I need, 
there's really nothing else to buy except um, <coughs> except the GRA anti-material rifle and ammo for it and I already have enough caps to do that and you know I said something about you know ammo for the rifle and then just kinda gradually began to realize that we were using up a whole lot of time on stuff that I really didn't actually have any good use for so I figure everybody benefits if we spend more stream time doing cool stuff like fighting and progressing things so I think that's well it's not everybody but We're no longer hard up for 556 ammo, obviously. Now that we're back from Zion. Now that's everybody. And we're dehydrated. We'll fix that and we'll keep on keeping on. Oh, good. I hadn't checked my viewer count in a while, looks like. People have been trickling in. We're, we're up to 14 on YouTube, which is about what I generally get for the regularly scheduled morning streams. And I've got three on Twitch, so I just hope Twitch holds there, trying to boost that average viewers to three. So three is the magic number. <laughs> so I've nearly got enough followers to get affiliated. I only need, I think, seven more. It's the, uh, it's that average viewer number that's the hardest milestone to hit by far. I, I mean, and, you know, getting affiliated is all I really care about doing on Twitch, because then I can get tipped on there, which would be nice. Uh, not that I expect anybody to tip me, ever. Alright, we've done our perimeter check. Let's make a... let's make an anchor save. We haven't done that in a while. And... let's head inside Helios 1. like we're free to take stuff, which is good. I do have another reason, on top of everything else I already said, for uh, switching up my looting strategy. Uh, people are very interested in a Fallout 4 playthrough, and to be clear, I am very interested in doing one. The issue is... Um, but if I'm going to do that, obviously I'm going to play in survival mode. And in order to make that happen, I need to dramatically alter my looting habits in order to deal with the carry weight restrictions that come with playing on that difficulty. So I figure if I start training myself to prioritize now, then it will benefit all of us when we get to that playthrough in the future. Okay. Open the sack. There you go. Go ahead and drink the Nuka-Cola. We like bottle caps. Take the ammo. Don't need the pistol. Take all those consumables. Wow, we are loading up on 308 ammo all of a sudden. That's great, though. So that was 
a little worried about my uh, my tally. All right, let's. Uh, take the clipboard, because that's actually useful later in Old World Blues. And let's look at this terminal. See what it has to say. Welcome to Poseidonet. Archimedes testing. On Tuesday, February 16th at 2 p.m., technicians will be running a test of Archimedes and its connectivity with our plant security system. Under no circumstances should any employee be outdoors on the plant grounds until the alarm klaxon has ceased and an all-clear is given. We have death and dismemberment waivers from all employees on file and are not responsible for any accidents that should occur during this procedure. Protective eyewear is mandatory for all technicians observing from the tower deck. Archimedes testing results. The initial testing of Archimedes was a success, though not an unqualified one. Several minor systems were overloaded, despite all precautions taken, and the two and a half minutes of downtime following the test is something we can work on improving. More importantly, we received reports from nearby facilities that they experienced system-frying power fluctuations at the time of the test, notably the Ma Black Mountain Communications Array and the military bunkers at Hidden Valley. We're going to make it a priority next time to prevent such collateral damage. Upcoming visit. Brigadier General Scott Lowe of the U.S. Army will be visiting the facility starting next Monday and staying on site indefinitely. When Archimedes goes live, he will be the only person here allowed to authorize its use for anything other than a test. Civilian employees are not required to salute, but it is expected of everyone that you observe thorough grooming and hygiene regimens and dress neatly while the General is with us. The General expects the best from all those men, and Poseidon men should be no different in the presence of such a fine and decorated soldier. Can I tell him? Can I tell him? A Poseidon Energy publication for new employees. As a member of the Poseidon family, it will be natural for you to become enthusiastic about the incredible endeavors you'll be undertaking with us, and to want to tell others. But just a second there, my good man. Let's take a minute to consider what could happen if company information fell into the wrong hands, and whose hands those might be. Can I tell my wife? Well, let's say you do. You tell her not, you tell her not to tell anyone. Your bond is sacred. But a woman's idle tongue is the devil's plaything. No sooner do you leave for work the next day than she's on the phone telling her best friend Candy. Then Candy tells Gertie, Gertie tells Maxine, Maxine tells Lulu, and while Lulu is telling Doris, a Chinese agent posing as an American operator listens in, and the next thing she's on the line with the Forbidden City singing like a treasonous canary. The following day, you and your wife are bound in shackles and China is sitting at the controls of our entire arsenal. Can I tell my children? What father wouldn't want his kids to look up to him? Don't be that father. One day at school, Ivan Bulikov will get more than lunch money out of your kids. He'll have national secrets. And while they're parading him through Red Square as a national hero, your children will be working in forced labor camps right next to you and your beautiful young wife, who's now wrinkled and homely because the communists have banned makeup because it expresses individuality. Can I tell my drinking buddies? Surely if there's somewhere safe a man can place his trust, it is with his other male friends. But how much do you really know about them? Are they friends or comrades? Don't be too sure. Even the most transparent window can hide secrets when it's lined with iron curtains. Always remember, you are a member of two families now, and you have obligations to both, but your obligation to the Poseidon family is greater, because while your children may misbehave and your friends may change and your wife may nag and cheat on you, Poseidon Energy will always be paying for and protecting your way of life. Don't tell anybody about anything about the projects of Poseidon Energy. When pressed, tell them that your job is repetitive and not worth discussing, but the company is nurturing and gives good benefits and is always looking for new talent. <laughs> um, your ISP hates Twitch for some reason since last year, but you left me a follow. Oh, well, that's good. That's kind of strange, because Twitch is usually a lot more stable for people. But whatever works for you, man, and thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, PD says, every Final Fantasy except 13, 13-2, 13 and Lightning Returns is good. <laughs> uh, Hentai, no, the Baldur's Gate playthrough will not be blind. I am very familiar with the Baldur's Gate series. I've played through it many times. That escalated quickly. <laughs> yes, yes, it did. Oh, I, but I, I, I love the propaganda in these games. It's, it's hilarious. 
what's particularly funny about it, of course, is, you know, if you ever, like, go back and actually read through, you know, propaganda from the height of the Cold War, like, it's absolutely real. Like, it... The, st the stuff in this game sounds like shit they actually put out back then. Let me see. No need for any of that. Take his ammo and really just make sure to collect the dog tags because those are going to be our main vehicle for getting in good with Caesar's Legion. We're not going to side with them. I mean, they don't have... They hardly have any of their own quests. And we are not, you know, that are independent from the main storyline. Like, that, you know, the NCR has a ton. But Caesar's Legion hardly has any. And we're not going to be siding with them in the main story, so... Just turning in dog tags at Cottonwood Cove is going to be the main method we have for getting rep with them and you know, getting access to their safe house and all that kind of stuff before the end game. So make sure, even if it pains you on a moral level, I highly recommend just murdering the shit out of all these generic NCR troopers and uh, taking their dog tags, because we'll have good use for them later. And let's keep on going. Plenty of stuff to find in here, but Man, they are really loading us up with ammo, which is never something I'm going to complain about. Ammo and cigarettes and more generic NCR troopers. Well, those boosts... The boost to sneak we got from our levels in Honest Hearts have made this trivial. <laughs> it's fun. Wait a minute. I don't have any use for pilot lights, do I? No, I do. I do. I, I was going to say, I, th I thought I could craft with pilot lights. Chess boards are useless, so we'll ignore that. Take all that, and onward. Oh, wait. What's in the box? Oh, I didn't want the tin can. Come on. Not that it matters all that much, but... Okay. Hey, clean water! It's always a nice thing to see. like how Boone doesn't mind me murdering NCR troops. Now, Boone is, um... Boone is definitely a creature motivated by vengeance. He has a lot of hate for the Legion, but doesn't seem to have any particular attachment to his old buddies from the NCR. Let's see, we got a very easy lock to door back out to the Mojave. So we'll just pick it for the experience and head back in. So obviously that was a way we could sneak in if we weren't able to talk our way past, uh, what's her name, Lieutenant Haggerty. Alright, let's keep looking around. Any good shit in here? Take the ammo, I'll leave the shotgun. Take the electronics, fire hose nozzles, I don't believe are useful for crafting. No, they are not. Or for, you know, turning in in the various silly, uh, New Vegas quests, either. Or, I mean, Old World Blues. Old World Blues is where a lot of this stuff we're hoarding, like, suddenly we can turn it in as part of a quest. I got a follow on Twitch from someone called Naga Loki. Thank you for the follow, Naga Loki. Uh, I don't know if that's an alt for somebody on somebody on YouTube if you're a brand new Twitch follower, but either way, thank you so much. I appreciate it. As for FF11, not sure if I play that anymore. Well, uh, 
Any more would be a bit of a misnomer. I don't play... I don't generally play any MMOs, Petey. I, uh... Yeah, I just never really got into them. I, uh... I've... The, the one exception, just because I loved the series so much, I had to give it a try, was, a. Uh, I, I was into Elder... I was a little bit into Elder Scrolls Online for a little while, and by a little bit, I mean, like, I tried it out for a few hours. Thought it was okay, but never really got into it. Ah, here's what we're looking for. One of the ever-so-valuable skill books. A DC Journal of Internal Medicine, which increases medicine by four, puts it at 70. Boom. Eastern Reflector Control Terminal Password. I don't want to hold on to that. I don't, or I don't want to pick that up. I would rather, I would rather hack the computer, which I should be able to do, no matter how difficult the hack is. Let's drink that Nuka Cola. Yeah, there's the Eastern Reflector Control Terminal password again. Another terminal. Same four dialogues. Let's head back downstairs. <gasps> Muggy is awesome. Oh yeah, we're talking Old World Blues. I, I, I love Old World Blues. It's just so off the wall. So much fun. Alright. Here's one of these. Take the clipboard, leave the knife. I love Tunnel Runner, too. Just permanent sneak mode, no loss of speed. Makes me so happy. Now let's go upstairs. See what's up here. So I'm pretty sure that's, like, the way forward where questing and whatnot actually gets started. Beer! Yeah, I'll take it. As if I would ever turn down free beer. What do you take me for, huh? Take the mug, take the clipboard. Oh yeah, this is that other room where, uh... Yeah, I for forgot to actually check the upstairs here, but... That's all there is to that, so now let's track back through here, jump back downstairs, and... <laughs> Yay, beer! Uh, what? Is that the, uh, the red, red stripe? That's that commercial, right? Hooray, beer! <laughs> now, let's see, uh... Well, the Final Fantasies I've played, PD, and I and and I've liked. I'll, I'll admit I've liked most of the ones I've played. I played. Uh, I've actually played through all three on the NES, one, two, and three. I've played four and six from the Super Nintendo, but not five. Uh, I've played. I've played all the way through 7 and I loved it and that's that's actually the last one I've finished I've played parts of 8 and 10 and never finished them and uh, never played 11, 12, 13, 14 or 15 let's get all the stuff out of here Raid the fridge, too. You'd turn down beer if it was that piss water Coors. <laughs> well, I mean... I mean, I think Coors Light is better than Bud Light. Not that that's setting the bar very high. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I love this guy. We, hey got we got Fantastic. Oh yes, I forgot about this. Let me finish looting these rooms. 
then I'm actually going to bounce back to Novak and offload. And don't worry, I have a good reason for it. We, um... We can get the second uh, Eddie dialogue when we talk to Ignacio, but we have to make sure that enough time has gone by after the first dialogue that we got from uh, um, Old Lady Gibson. I think the cutoff is nine days. I'm not sure how long it's been since we spoke to Old Lady Gibson, so I'm just gonna hang here and wait out the nine days. Um, I've got NCR dollars. Let's let's go sell those for caps. I see there are, there are ways that we can keep making caps even without burning weight, and you know the uh, where's the doctor over here probably, and the. Uh, yeah, Legion Denarius and NCR money are actually a pretty good example of that. What can I do for you? I need medical supplies. Let's take that if you would. I don't think I... Yeah, I didn't take it. I'm no longer picking up things that are just for sale, so... Pleasure doing business with you. With the exception of weightless stuff. Uh, hey, Silent. Uh, you've missed you've missed quite a bit, my man. We, uh, I mean, of course, it's all going to be archived to YouTube, so you can watch it anytime you want. But we, uh, yeah, we finished the ending of Honest Hearts. You can see I've got Joshua Graham's armor, Salt Upon Wounds' helmet, and Salt Upon Wounds' power fist. Um, since we got back to the Mojave, I have also done... Um, I finished uh, Come Fly With Me. That quest is over. And right now I'm exploring the uh, Helios 1 plant. Uh, I'm trying to get the dialogues related to Eddie, my love, and his little companion line. You get the first dialogue when you speak to Old Lady Gibson at the Gibson Scrapyard. So we got that. And you can get the second one almost immediately from uh, Ignacio Rivas at Helios 1. But you have to make sure enough time has gone by. And so that's what I'm about to do now. Uh, the cutoff is nine days. And I'm actually not even sure if it's been one. I think it probably has. But just to be sure, I'm going to... Suck it up, and we will burn through a lot of, uh... We'll burn through a lot of, uh, food and water, but that's okay. It just, you know, it is what it is. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait out the nine days so I can make sh bit, be certain I get that second Eddie dialogue when I talk to Ignacio. So, here goes. Let me... Let me make an anchor save right quick. It just seems like a good choice. Oh yeah, and I leveled up again too, and at level 26 I got really excited because you get the uh, the Tunnel Runner perk, which basically unlocks full speed running even while you're in stealth mode. Drank Coors once and had to piss before you even felt a buzz. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the... Uh, it's it's light beer. I mean, light beer is light beer is light beer. If it's it's always going to be that way, no matter what brand it is. That being said, I will defend Coors just to the extent of saying, in the sad sad world of light beers, Coors Light is probably my favorite. And that's the very definition of condemning with faint praise. But. A PD, you missed all the DLC. Well, y y Honest Hearts, there's not much going on there. It's very repetitive and annoying, just sneaking around very similar looking terrain while you uh, fight 
ridiculously respawning enemies. So that was two days. I'm going to wait seven more. Hey, Machine Gunner. Uh, not sure if I consider myself a streamer, but I'm definitely your favorite. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. It's, it's, a, it's a very nice thing to say. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm starting to consider myself one. Like, I've been mentioning that I'm, I'm trying to at least get affiliated on Twitch. Like, I don't... I don't think I'll ever become a partner, and I don't particularly care, but I'd like to get affiliated just so that people can tip with bits if they want to. I'm just going to get, I'm going to get out all of my casserole and all of my water, and then I'll just put away whatever I don't end up using. That was that was three days. I got six more to wait. So anyway, Petey, you didn't miss anything good. Uh, oh, and I got another uh, I got another Twitch follow that for some reason just popped through. Uh, Ironclad two thousand one. Again, I don't know if that's an alt for one of my YouTubers or a new person on Twitch, but either way, welcome and thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Five more days to wait. Drink more water. Yeah, and as I've uh, as I've said, the the big hurdle in getting affiliated on Twitch is hitting three average viewers. Like I could probably do it tonight. I have three going. I have three right now. If I if I hold it there, I think it'll be, be enough to boost the average up from uh, two to three, and uh, I need to get to 50 followers. But I'm on I'm on pace for that to happen pretty easily. The it definitely seems like the more difficult hurdle is the average viewer mark. I think I need I need six more followers. I think I have 44 with the two I just got, but average viewers is difficult, and. Uh, the other, for those of you uh, regulars, I, I did some explaining to, um, you're going to notice very rapidly, if you haven't already, that I finally settled down about picking up absolutely everything, because uh, it, it started at the end of the DLC, because I didn't want to waste stream time carting everything back from Zion into the Mojave, and... Uh, then I kind of kept going with it because I realized while we were playing through Honest Hearts and people kept asking me what you've gained the Camel of the Mojave perk. Ooh, what's that one do? Your frequent water consumption has led to improved benefits from drinking hydrating fluids. Oh, cool. I think that means that I'm going to be... Uh, better able to, uh, I think that means water is going to do more to combat dehydration. It's a stretch, but if I ever became a partner, you'd start a subscription. Well, it is a bit of a stretch. I mean, I think of the most viewers I've ever had is seven, and to make, to be a partner, you have to hit an average of 75. <laughs> Which I get, I mean, you know, they don't, they don't want to partner anybody who's not going to make them money. That makes perfect sense, but, oh, I, I forgot to look. Yeah, I probably don't really need to keep eating two of them. All right, now that should be enough time. So let me just put away some of that water and some of that casserole, and we'll uh, then we'll head on back to uh, Helios One. All right. Uh, how many hours have I played so far? Uh, you mean, like, since starting the game? Com at the very... Back at Good Springs? Or do you just mean tonight? Uh, tonight, I've been going about 2 hours and 20 minutes. We're going to go about, about 40 more minutes, I think. So... All right, let's rip through here now. I'm 
talk to uh, Fantastic and uh, Ignacio. You have a friend who averaged 10 and he's a partner. Is the 75 rule new? I don't know if the 75 rule is new or not, but uh, you you have to... Like, you just have to get your average there and, you know, accept an offer to become a partner, like, while you're at that average. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to... Fantastic. Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? Uh, what ending did I get for Honest Hearts? I did the, um... I crushed the white legs, and I had, a. Uh, I made Joshua give Salt Upon Wounds a fair fight, rather than execute him. And I had, um... You know, I had Follows, Follows Chalk left the Mojave, and Waking Cloud forgave Daniel, because we had found the truth about her husband. Alright, so, let's talk to Fantastic... In the back of the complex, you will find a science lab. Fantastic. I want to say... I w yeah, you want to say we're here to replace him. That's right. That's right. I'm here for your job. Ah, shit. Shit, man. I need this. Gotta pay the bills. And I'm addicted to a lot of different kinds of chems. I mean a lot. Have I seen the videos of people holding a jar of green shit and whispering into the mic? No, you're gonna tell me what you're talking about. Speech 25. You pay me a stack of caps right now, and I'll forget you have my job. Aw, oh, man. How am I supposed to buy chems now? Fine. Here. <laughs> I like Fantastic. He's, he's, he's funny. What job do you have here? What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No Fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats, and it feels so good. What are you trying to accomplish? Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right, so we're running at 1% efficiency. And I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. And that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, Arnold Braunschweiger, 12287. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it, man. How would someone retarget the mirrors? There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey. You're not thinking about going up there, are you? I am now. Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Connect to the Helios 1 mainframe from the Western Reflector Control Terminal and the Eastern Reflector Control Terminal. So we just started the quest, that lucky old son. Why should the power go to the Strip and McCarran? Because I get paid, that's why. Per kilowatt hour. Whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper. There's a reputation you can hang your hat on. <laughs> Why are you worried about being replaced? Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. No one else can do what I do here. What exactly do you do? Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons, I turn dials, I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Like one time I imagined they were a code to get into a vault full of naked women. Man, how cool would that be? So you have no idea what you're doing? No, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. Over there, controls power in this building. That station has readouts on the computer network. That big knob there makes a crazy noise. Uh, sparks come out of that slot if you put stuff in it. 
and I'm learning more every day. I, I, I think this guy's funny. I like him. How did you get this job? It was easy, man. They were going door to door asking if anyone knew any scientists. I said, look no further. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Here. You want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. Oh, Found darn. Found written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. Well, there's the Western Reflector Control Terminal password. I was hoping to, uh, to hack those computers, but maybe you can't. Here's Ignacio. Um, I want to save here because I want to make sure the Eddie dialogue triggers. So... It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Um... I'm a soldier, my interest is scientific, more of a drifter, that's not your concern. I'm gonna go with... that's not your concern. Interesting. Forgive me for prying, but I'm curious. Are you with a particular group? Speech 35. This is your turf. For all I know, you could have me killed for my allegiance. Who are you with? Very well, yes. I'm part of the followers of the apocalypse. If you're not familiar, we seek peace and the spread of knowledge. Knowledge that must never be lost to the world. Now your turn. Okay. My only true allegiance is to myself. Then for everyone's sake, I hope you serve a worthy master. Are you a maker of war or peace? Peace, war, I try not to get involved. I'll say peace. That's reassuring. Although many who've made that claim to the followers of the Apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. Oh, hey, machine. But if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Take care what you do here and who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. Hey, machine gunner, thanks for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> Looks like the best man for the job. Oh, man, fantastic. That, he's, he's fantastic. What more do you need to say? What more is there to this place than a power plant? I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. You think Archimedes is a weapon they built here? Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. Oh, yeah. And before I forget, I wanted to say to the regulars who came in late, um, the other reason that I'm finally backing off of uh, looting out everything is because I'm trying to train myself to have limited carry weight and get used to leaving things behind in preparation for eventually doing Fallout 4 survival mode. So if I can get used to that now, we're going to have a much better time <laughs> in that playthrough. The Brotherhood of Steel knew about Archimedes? They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here <clears throat> for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steer clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. The NCR asked me to help increase the plant's power output. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Okay. Note active Eastern Reflector Control Terminal password. Where should I route the power? Oh, <clears throat> the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt. But resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. Why would you trust me with this? I'm a man of letters. I'd be torn to pieces by the security system they have in that tower. I'd never reach the mainframe. But eventually, the NCR will. Or if not them, Caesar's Legion. They will use this place for war. Because the possibility exists, you might do anything else. You're the only choice I have. 
Why are you here? I was sent here when we saw that the NCR had taken it. We have no record of the facility, but its original builders were cause for concern. I'm to determine the threat level of this place and do everything in my power to prevent the revival of any dangerous pre-war technology. The NCR let me stay because they are desperate for answers about this place, but I've kept them in the dark. The NCR doesn't know about the weapon? Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. <laughs> he spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. Tell me more about the followers of the apocalypse. Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Go on. Other things weren't lost, but were blocked from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. Where are the followers based around here? We're scattered mostly. We go where we're needed. Our largest presence is in Freeside, at Old Mormon Fort. Other than that, I know Dr. Usanagi set up a practice near the Crimson Caravan, and a man we train is operating out of the Aerotech building. Another man, Tom Anderson, was looking into water supply problems in Westside, but that was a while ago. Do the followers work together with the NCR? We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing. And prosperity has to be for everyone, not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind, try to provide some stability. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Download complete. Begin recording. Good, there Navarro it is. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Continue. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy, and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Okay. That's what we wanted. So now let's head out back, and actually do the... The work, the work portion of this quest. So we need to find, um, there are five salvageable solar panels out here, as well as uh, some NCR tents to loot, and the, uh, the two terminals where we need to input those codes. I don't remember exactly where any of this stuff is. So we're just going to have to poke around and look carefully for it. In the meantime, we can, we can still mur er, sneak murder all these generic troopers. Take their ammo and their dog tags. This is the, uh, so this is the first of the two terminals. You can see it's pretty pretty booby trapped. Don't don't uh, miss the frag mines here either. And oh hell! I was gonna say let me. Uh, I don't know what the deal was there. Oh there it is. It's right in that crack. Oh, and I can't, I can't even actually reach it. Okay. Well, isn't that special? Well, I feel, I feel less bad about missing it then. Alright, so here's the first terminal. Reset mainframe connection. Connection reset, waiting for mainframe. Completed, connect to the Helios 1 mainframe from the western reflector control terminal. Here, more generic NCR troopers. 
Uh oh. I say somebody, somebody. Oh, I think it's crashed. Oh, good. I thought the game was gonna crash, but no. All is well. Let's check out the tents. There's a little bit of loot in these. Ah, here we go. Broken solar reflector. Reflector panels on this array are damaged. You could salvage some of the array's parts. Would you like to salvage the array? Repair 20 or higher required. Salvage it. Array salvaged. So we got solar array parts. That that leaves uh, four more of those to find. Oh yeah, there's there's one that I blew right past. Two more of those. Oh, I'm sorry, three more of those. Alright, let's keep going. Here's the third. Two more of those. And here's the uh, here's the other control booth. First, here's the fourth reflector. So we've got one more of those to find, and I believe it's guard dogs inside here. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Why, well, I am... I don't know, maybe it's just me and confirmation bias, but... I feel like I am really noticing the extra five critical chance I'm getting from uh, Joshua Graham's and Salt Upon Wounds' armor and helmet, respectively. Alright, let's hit Terminal 2. Reset mainframe connection. Completed. Connect to the Helios 1 mainframe from the Eastern Reflector Terminal. Use the Helios 1 mainframe to send power to a destination of your choosing. Optional, arm Archimedes security system to wipe out all nearby NCR soldiers. Well, that hardly seems necessary. Alright, let's, uh... Finish exploring the rest of this... Exterior zone before we head into the... Before we head into the tower. There's another dog. Another generic trooper. More loot.
easy locked ammo box. Alright. Let me go find the last, uh... Salvageable solar array. Should be out here somewhere. further back, or maybe there are only four. I'd like to get, I'd like to get to higher ground and look around and see if I can find a fifth one. Uh, hey, Petey. Um, sorry, I, chat, chat locked up on me for a while. I just had like 20 messages pop through all at once. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, Petey. Um, I'm guessing he's probably already gone, but... Uh, hey, Josh. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Always nice to see uh, see new commenters, new faces around here. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. Have I ever tried to go for the wild card ending? Oh, yeah. No, that's... Uh, I, I... When I finally get to the end, I... Almost all, like, I've, I've played all the endings before. My favorite one is the Good Karma Wild Card ending, so that's the one that we're going to go for when we finally get there. No, Boone does not have a problem with me killing NCR soldiers. What he has a problem with is me making nice with Caesar's Legion. Places gold mine for arrays once I get to the boomers. Yeah, I thought there were five. Which is why I uh when I when I get to the top of the tower, I'll be able to uh I'll be able to have a little bit of a I'll be able to look around more. So you can see we got uh we got turrets up here. And we got robots running around downstairs. So I'm going to start a fight with the turrets. We obviously can't punch them, so. They're all Mark Fives, so. Doesn't really matter how we prioritize. We got a sentry bot here. It seems the sentry bot may not be the sharpest crayon in the box. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go loot the sentry bot. Am I gonna have to dump Boone for the wild card ending? Well, I, yeah, I mean, I need to. I'm gonna do Boone's quest, you know, before I do anything that makes nice with the Legion, and then I'm just gonna leave him in the Lucky Eight and never ask him to rejoin me again, because, you yeah, know, that's when he gets mad. Programmer's Digest, Wonder Glue and Wrench, Conductor and Wrench. Yes, we'll take all of that. No need for the cup. I'll take the pre-war money because it doesn't weigh anything. Take the fission battery. And let's not go through that door just yet. Thank God for Boone's infinite reloads. Yeah. 
No kidding. Oh, thanks, Machine Gunner. So yeah, there there is a fifth one out there. We'll uh, I'll try and spot it when we get to the top of this tower, so I'll know where to go to look for it. Sneak attack critical, baby. That's what it's all about. All right, let me look around down here. I don't think there's any anything I actually care about taking, but you know me. I am nothing if not thorough. There's another toolbox. I'll take the wrench and leave the plunger. Check these out. Average locked safe. Well, by all means. Drink that sarsaparilla right now. Maybe get a star bottle cap. Didn't happen. Bunch of pulse grenades. Goodies in that sack. Okay, cool. That's it for down here, so let's head up to that main door we had been avoiding. You only take Eddie with you ever, and that's only for his quest. Yeah, I uh, I generally prefer not to use companions, but on very hard, at least at this point, I frankly need them to deal with some things. And I also, I really do want to do, like, all of the various uh, quests that the companions give us access to, so. Let's move along. Yeah, we're, we will have time to finish uh, the Lucky Old Sun quest, and then we'll, uh... Oh, but before we, before we advance through there, I almost forgot the side room back here at the beginning. So we will have time to finish this quest, and then we're going to end the stream. So everybody has a, a heads up about where all this is going. So there are several active frag mines in this room we need to be careful of. Including two on the shelf that are still active for some reason. Take the wonder glue, take the wrench, take the clipboard. And I believe we're going to have to hack this. We are. Heated. 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 There we go. No need to mess with the turret system, since we already destroyed them. And now we can head on over through the main door. Eddie is really good for killing things, but god-awful for sneaking around. It doesn't even try. Yeah, well, uh, but I mean, it, that, that doesn't bother me too much, because as long as you stay good at sneaking, like, uh, they almost tend to, you know, they aggro the enemies, and it gets the enemies to ignore you. Another sentry bot. Didn't get the sneak crit. Didn't end up mattering. That's great. And I think, I think, uh... All mine. What the fuck, Boone? 
I, say, I think based on the presence of the sentry bot, that's probably the way forward. That's a good guess. Let's get that scrap metal. Alright. Now we'll head back here, and I believe, uh, I believe we have five Protectrons to deal with, which is exceedingly easy, and then, then we should be clear. Oh, no, there's a, there's a gutsy. Definitely going to want to sneak up on the gutsy if we can. Ready to die for your country, you commie son of a bitch. Eat hot lead, you commie bastard. Spotted me. Still ended up okay. All right. Now, let's head down. Can't run from me. Oh god, now what? I don't know why I even pop Please out of sneak mode. Open and identify yourself. All abiding citizens have nothing to fear. It's just, uh, it's just force of habit. With Tunnel Runner, there's literally no reason for me to ever leave sneak mode. Clean water. Always nice. Always nice. You hate dealing with Mr. Gutsies. Yeah, they, um... I don't know, it's... It, uh, sometimes it seems like, for whatever reason, they can actually be worse than sentry bots, even though they're not supposed to be. If you, if you bring the Euclid Sea Finder to the top of Helios when you realign the reflectors, you get a ton of ammo for it. Yeah, I don't, uh... Uh, well, don't you get that anyway? Can't you bring it back here at any time? Poseidon Energy Employee ID card. Let's not take one of those. We'll just fight the remaining robots. They're only Protectrons. So they will be easy to eliminate. Average locked door. There's the elevator to the observation level, so... Alright. We're almost done. Just need to... Finish clearing this joint out. Oh, don't don't you dare get stuck. Not that it's been that long since I saved, but it's more the principle of the thing. Drink that Nuka Cola if you would, my dude. Get us a bottle cap, always nice. Take the hot plate. How do I... How do I let these things out and fight them? There it goes. Attention. Why are you not now a combat So why will you not aim at the one close to us? Law 
off. All right, one of you carry Fine this. By me. One of you carry that. Just uh, just let me load him up with the fission batteries. Should be good otherwise. All right. The area is clear of hostiles. I just need to make sure I've gotten all the goodies I want. I think we're pretty close to that at any rate. Okay, yeah, this is where we came in. Let's check out this hallway before we go and head up the elevator. It's probably just another storage room. Bring that sarsaparilla. All right, to the elevator. We are nearly done. So here we are on the operation level, or observation level. Alright, Boone, you also get to carry conductors now. Congratulations. Fine by me. Excuse me. Yeah, something's tickling my throat. I can't help coughing all of a sudden. Here's an auxiliary generator. The generator looks to be fine, but some kind of large vermin has chewed into the power cable. With the proper know-how and some scrap metal, you could repair the connection and improve its output bandwidth. Otherwise, you'll need help. Repair of 35 or higher and one piece of scrap metal required. Let's do that. Repair the wire. You fix the wiring. Sufficient electricity should now be flowing to the mainframe computer. There's another sarsaparilla. There's a bottle cap. Coffee mugs. Refrigerator. Gotta offload something else. Fine by me. I'll just pick some component that. Take the coffee mugs. There you go. All right. Before we actually do the reprogramming, let's go upstairs. Empty catwalk. Empty catwalk. Take those pinion nuts. There's another clipboard. Python. A robo brain brain and a door out to the Mojave wasteland. All right, let's go reprogram the computer. Welcome to Poseidonet General. Uh, initial trials. Pending the successful launch of Archimedes 2, we ought to be able to begin field trials with the handheld rangefinder within a few weeks. Our small-scale tests have already proven the viability of sending power as microwave radiation from the plant to a remote receiver and converting it back into a usable form. All that remains is to extrapolate it to full scale and then prove out the long-range communication targeting system on the rangefinder. Archimedes testing. Okay, we did that. Configure power grid. Select output configuration. McCarran and Las Vegas Strip, Fremont and West Side, full region, Archimedes 2, full region, emergency output level, back. We're going to do full region. Insufficient capacity, brownouts likely. Initiate reflector retargeting from the console on the tower observation deck. 
Okay. Let's head there next. And along the way, we'll see what this Python robot is about. This robot has been fitted with a variety of tools specialized for industrial maintenance. There's a slot at the back of the head where it looks like a key card could be fit. Science of 45 or Poseidon Energy ID card required. Hardwire the robot to run on autopilot in repair mode. That requires Science 45. Then once it's up, we can go ahead and just murder it. This is what we're gonna do. Experience is our friend. And let's head out here to the Mojave Wasteland. Uh, oh yeah, let me let me look for that fifth uh, salvageable array while we're up here. I don't see one. Oh, but, the, yeah, no. I, I remember now, Machine Gunner. You need five for the quest, but you can get a couple at Nellis. So, yeah, there are only four here. You have to come here and get some of them. All right. We want it to be full daylight, which is between uh, 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. So we just missed that window. So let's wait. Let's wait until 9 a.m., then we'll want to flip the switch, and that'll activate the tower. Is it New Vegas that has the weapon that shouts various phrases before you enter battle? I do not know. If so, I don't know what you're actually talking about, but... Uh, could be. Alright, hit it. Talk to Ignacio. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's a, that's a cool little moment right there. Let's do as requested and go talk, or instructed. Run back and talk to Ignacio. Starting to get sleepy too. It's a, uh, it's bedtime as soon as we cut the stream. But uh, let's wrap up the quest and offload in Novak first. Seems like something is stuck in there. Something hostile. What can I help you with? I diverted power to the grid. I saw that on the monitors here, and you sent it to everyone. Very admirable. Now that the NCR is more or less what they want, Hopefully their curiosity about the plan is satisfied, and they'll dig no deeper. The followers will be grateful. Here, take these as a parting gift. I hope you'll find them useful. There we go. Achievement unlocked to that lucky old son. He gave us a big book of science and some stim packs. 
Oh, and two doctor's bags. And we got rep with the followers. Why are you still here? Keeping watch, mostly. Trying to make sure the dangers of this plan are minimized. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Now, uh, let's use that big book of science. Always no reason to hold on to a skill book. Science increased by four. We are now at 84. That is awesome. All right, let me run to Novak. Offload all the shit we're carrying. And then tomorrow morning, we'll be ready to do more uh, exploring up toward Vegas. Let's get out of here for now. What are my PC specs? Do I know them off the top of my head? I mean, um, I know that the most important ones, I just, I have an Intel i5 processor and my, uh, and I have a GTX 980 for the graphics card. All right, Boone, give me all Fine by me. Give me all the shit I made you carry. Let me dump it all in here. Awesome. Right, let's get well rested. And actually, one other quick thing to do. Um, we should get a uh, we should get a notification about a uh, Eddie shortly. We'll get a well. We should get a broadcast from the Brotherhood of Steel that'll allow us to progress the Eddie quest. do two days of waiting and then if it doesn't work I'll assume it's a proximity trigger for later how are you going to use the anti-material rifle if you don't have the proper strength well I will have the proper strength by then because uh, we're going to get our strength boosted in old world blues as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. All right. Interesting. That is what I was after, though. Let me get more water and more, uh... OK. 
casserole. Oops, no. Take another one. And another one of those. Drink the water. Alright, that's what I was after. So, uh... Yeah, you'll see my, my strength is at 7, and it's going to get boosted by a point in Old World Blues, and we'll be able to use the anti mat rifle. So let's head to Helios 1. That is going to be our starting point for further exploration tomorrow. But this is where I'm going to leave you all for the evening. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me for the surprise stream. Again, I'm sorry it wound up being such a surprise, but... Now I finally understand how to actually get push notifications through the Discord server, so I'll be sure to send one to let you know next time I'm going live. But I can tell you that next stream is going to be tomorrow morning, as regularly scheduled, as ordinarily planned. More Fallout at 6 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time tomorrow morning. Until then, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I, uh... Whether you're just watching on either platform or participating in chat, I'm very happy you're here. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I hope to see many, if not all of you, uh, back here tomorrow morning. Uh, thank you, and have a lovely evening.